and hello everyone welcome back to another php tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at installing and running php on mac os all right so let's jump right into it the method i'm going to use to install php is homebrew so if you do not have homebrew installed i actually highly recommend you do install it. It's as simple as just running this command in your terminal. So this thing right here. Once you've done that, Homebrew will be installed in your system and you can follow along with the course. It does take quite a while to install, but once it's done, you will wish you had it installed from the get go. All right, so let me just move this guy here. Once you have Homebrew installed, you can simply do brew search PHP you'll find something that looks like this now you're probably interested in PHP 8.0 or just regular PHP so it's up to you which you choose but I'm going to just choose regular PHP so brew install PHP while we wait for that let's open up finder and let's go to the documents I already have a toots folder, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to create a new folder called PHP. In this folder, you want to create a file or at least just open up your code editor. So I'm going to open up VS Code, then go File, Open Folder, Documents, Toots, PHP. You don't need to use VS Code, I just prefer to use it. And here there's a new file button. If I just increase our size here, then you'll notice there's a new file button right next to PHP and just call it index.php. You'll notice a file was created. So you can just close out of Finder because you can manage most of your files from here. All right, so here is PHP, it's installed. Now, if you do have any problems with PHP, for example, it says it's not running, then you can just follow what they say here where it's brew services start PHP. So if you ever do get the error where it says PHP is not running or something like that, just run this piece of code here in the terminal and that should fix it. All right, once that is installed, we can just minimize this. And let's create a basic PHP file. So PHP is mostly HTML, but then you, then you throw PHP in there. So Let's just go HTML and we don't need all of these things in the head. So I'm just going to delete most of this. We only need the title to keep it simple. So make sure no HTML. I do have an entire HTML course because PHP and HTML always goes hand in hand. Next up is the body and let's put a PHP tag here. So this here is a PHP tag. Whatever goes in here is PHP code. For example, echo, and let's say, hello world. So now when we run this, we should get hello world. So let me just go to terminal, new terminal, PHP dash S, and this should be in the same directory as this PHP file. So if you go ls, you should see index.php. If you don't, then you're not in the correct directory. So just PHP dash S localhost and just choose a port, usually four numbers. Any four numbers would generally do. 8000 is common. Once you do that, it will start a PHP server for you and you just open up that link. And there we go. There is hello world. And then also PHP version to check your PHP version. So we have 8.3.2 installed. And that's the basics of PHP. If you want to close the server, just control, not command, control and C. And that will close the server. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next PHP tutorial.